What's up everyone, this is CyberNight8610, and today I actually have a duel for you guys. Uh, just kind of a quick duel, I'm using uh, Rockstun going against Infernities. Uh, yeah, I've been testing out uh, Rockstun lately because uh, they are getting a new card in Secrets of Eternity, which isn't that far away now, which seems seems kind of funny. And uh, they get Overdose, which I think they changed the name. I don't know if we've heard the new name for it, because uh, you know Konami with their censorship. Anyway, uh, in this, I basically draw a lot of traps and stuff, but I didn't really get too many monsters which can be a pain with Rockstone because you're using the Quakimarus and then of course with their having to reveal a Quakimaru to use one sort of thing uh, that gets uh, really annoying it can be a problem and yeah got rid of vanities <laughs> he chose wisely on that uh, at least I was able to get the diamond core though which allows me to search what I need and I go for overdose like I said that's the new one that we're waiting on uh, again I don't know what its new name is but uh, it's a pretty good rockstone card I mean you know it's a good one for Quakimaru's and their rock variant I guess I should say uh, it just basically uh, keeps your opponent from summoning stuff because you contribute it and then uh, stop the summon which uh, helps lock down your opponent that's basically what this deck does I mean you know you have a lot of traps and stuff and a lot of cards like the Rock Quakimaru's and you're just keeping your opponent from doing anything. You're just kind of locking them down which, uh, yeah, pretty simple on that. So I'm waiting to see what this, uh, what all these Infernities are going to do. Uh, I was keeping because uh, I have several ways where I can stop summonings, basically, and I'm waiting just to see, because I know, especially seeing uh, Instant Fusion and all this stuff going on they're going for some kind of Synchro Monster or something they're going for a play or an XC Monster and uh, so I'm getting ready to use my cards for that, to, to deal with that problem. That's why I'm, I'm waiting on that just in case people are wondering. And, uh, yeah, I think he's deciding on which one, and there we go, Lavalval <laughs> Chain. So, I was debating, should I go with Overdose or Warning to get rid of this problem? I go on ahead and just use Warning, just get rid of the problem on there. I still have Overdose and uh, a few other cards, too, to help me in case, you know, we have a problem. And uh, with this, he actually goes for Balmog, so I have, uh, let's see, what did I do on this one? I'm trying to remember. I don't remember if I went Overdose. I think I went Bottomless on this, because I did have Bottomless... So I was just like, yeah, let's go ahead and use that. Because I'd like to keep Overdose, because, yeah, for some reason on Dead Pearl, I've had some awful luck drawing monsters, like you're kind of seeing in this video. And I don't know why that is. I think I have, like, 17 monsters in this deck? Something like that. You know, I have a good enough ratio on it. It's just kind of bad luck, I think, by me. Anyway, uh, Launcher. <laughs> launcher, Launcher, Launcher. It reminds me of when her Ferdies were more in their heyday. They're still scary, but... Yeah, <laughs> uh, they're not as good as I guess they used to be because they got hit on the ban list and stuff, but man, they can still be a threat. So I'm going ahead and just destroying what I can, and uh, again, I have enough trap stuff where I'm not too worried, and I hate to really summon anything else to even go for an XC monster because I would rather just uh, have Overdose, honestly, out of anything else on there. So yeah, he can just keep bringing back the Tuner monster. I think he's waiting on a monster as well. Maybe having the same problem as me, I don't know, on uh, drawing monsters to try to go for something. But I at least get Fossil Dyna, which can help me out uh, with all this special summoning that Infernus can do. I just keep attacking, anyway. At least make him use that effect, too. It's, it's worth doing. And, uh, yeah, at least I'm able... I was able to draw another monster like Fossil Dyna, which is a really good card in this matchup and in most cases you know any matchup these days in the meta you know anything that destroys special summon monsters is good and I was able to get a Quakimaru wall uh, this card of course really good as well and uh, I use a wiretap too to save wall because it was almost it almost didn't make it and using false Dyna to just destroy all the special summon monsters and everything uh, he tried to use a ferny break I think to try to counter that but uh, even then its monsters still go away and, uh, yeah, it looks like I get to do some damage, finally. I actually have a couple of monsters on the field, and two that kind of stop him from doing stuff, because he can't activate really any spells with Wall, and then the summonings with, uh, with Overdose, and I even have Dimensional Prison, I believe, still. And, and even then, I still have Guardian and, and uh, Soul Charge in my hand, so pretty much have everything I need uh, on this. So, uh, and no cards in his hand, I, I have this duel. I mean, it, it's uh, pretty much locked him down and everything, too, and what he can do. So yeah, that's the duel. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Of course, uh, thank you for watching. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. And also tell me what other duels you want to see in the future. Alright, later guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. And also check out my other two channels, Cybernight Games for Let's Plays and Pokemon openings, and Cybernight CCG for Cardfight Vanguard openings.